On an island far, far away lived five tribes of great strength. As with most orientation stories, the tribes had been at war for decades. Each had abilities beyond your wildest dreams. However, each also had a weakness that crippled their everyday life. Rock. Incredible stamina. No muscle strength. Dragon. As fast as lightning, as disaster prone as the Titanic. Whoa! Whoa! Garuda. Very wow, artistically gifted. Realistic. I feel like it's a picture. Photograph. Oh. Is it a photograph or but their perfectionism oh, drives each other crazy. Phoenix, warm and compassionate. Sure, sure. Are you okay? I'm okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, you'll be over soon. I'll get some water again. But their warm and sweaty palms makes it difficult to get a grip. Can I get some help with this? Yeah, let me help you. Hey, careful, careful. Tupa has incredible strength. We are so strong, we can crush you with our bare hands. Ha! Yeah, we'll show you the way. Ha! But they frequently space out. A prophecy once told of a book of spells and charms that will clear the owner of their deficiencies. Lost to history, the whereabouts of the book was long forgotten. The tribe members grew wary of the fighting and knew that the only way to assure their survival was to find the book and use its power. Unlike stereotypical tribes, these were not savages. Democracy had already reached its shores and so the tribe members voted on who should bear the burden of this arduous journey. Each tribe chose two leaders to find the book and wield its sorcery over the rest. But before they could begin their journey, the compatibility of the leaders had to be put to the test. Not that kind of compatibility test! <laughs> 